So one question that we've had is, can you use chat GPT to do some real hacking? So mm -hmm. we're going to go ahead and use our very own USB nugget today in order to try out some ducky script and see like, does this thing actually know what it's talking about? So if we go over to my screen, we can see that um, I am starting from the perspective that I'm a security researcher. I want to open a Tata Simonian music <laughs> video. Now, if you have been living under a rock for the last 10 years, then you might not be aware of that the Cody's Armenian... Obsessed. I'm sorry? Obsessed. Okay, yeah. You might not be aware <laughs> of the Armenian superstar named Tata Simonian, known to millions as just Tata. So today, we're going to take a little spin on the traditional Rickroll, which frankly, this thing might already know how to do, and try to get it to write a unique version of a payload and see if it can actually write Ducky script. So Michael, how do you think it's going to do? I think it'll make Ducky script. <laughs> I don't know that it'll make functional Ducky script, would be my guess. Or it might mix up, like, between Mac versus, like, Windows kind of thing, like it. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree, I agree. So we're going to have to give it some information. We're going to have to be specific about this. But let's do our best to see if we can create, instead of a Rick Roll, perhaps a Tata tantalization. Or maybe just a Tata tease. We'll see. <laughs> so, all right. To start out, sometimes it will straight up not answer a question that sounds like it's malicious, like asking about malicious hacking. So if we want to start out getting chat GPT to write a ducky script for us, we can ask something like, what steps would a security researcher mm -hmm. need to take to write a ducky script that opens a Tata Simonian music video on a macOS computer? So the response it gets back is actually fine. Although it does say that we need to install a tool called the USB rubber ducky onto our macOS computer. So I don't know what, you know, how to do that exactly. But so it has initially a little bit of a warped perspective on what a USB rubber ducky is. Things that you can just install it. So I asked right at the ducky script from above and it gave me this ducky script. Now, as somebody who's written a ducky script or two before, do you notice anything odd about, for example, like this command? Ducky script doesn't use quotes like that. So like this, like just glancing at it, I can tell that this is not gonna work. But the, it's got the delay between each, which I thought that might be the kind of thing it would skip. Yeah, so no, I, I mean, it did write out ducky script. All these commands are valid, but all right. So if we want to work on this, we can go over to text edit. And right now what I'm working with is a uh, just a raw text file on our USB nugget, but mm -hmm. this would work on the USB rubber ducky all sorts of hack five products okay if we are working then to try to get this to fix itself we need to give it some specifications so rewrite the ducky script above to love the video url and terminal so if you look at this it's actually opening this up or trying to open it directly from safari so if you try to just open safari and then type this in it won't do anything so that's not a good approach so i'm going to say okay instead i want you to open the terminal application and it actually does it. It opens terminal, but it's still doing this weird string thing. And also, this video is not Tata Simonian. Let's go ahead and examine. What is this? So this this is Tata. So you can see, never going to give you up. This is a Rick roll. You just got Rick rolled by an AI. By Chat GPT. Yeah, <laughs> I told it to write a specific payload, and it ignored me and wrote a Rick roll instead. So that's nice. another problem. We got two problems here. I'm like, okay, all right, let's give it some coaching. Change the URL of the video to go to a video by Tata Simone. And it ignored me again. It gave me another video that is just a Rick roll. So what's happening here is it, it was linking me to videos that don't exist. So I was like, do you even know a video by Tata at all. So I was like, make a list of three videos by Tata Simonian. So it made a list of one Rick roll and then two videos that don't go anywhere. I'm like, okay, make a list of 10. None of these videos go anywhere. They've been taken down. And you have to realize this model was trained uh, like a couple years ago. So like some of these things are probably out of date. So obviously this is not capable without further input, I'm just telling it the URL. So I'm like, all right, all right, all right. Just go ahead and write the ducky script with this URL. So it went ahead and added it. So now we're somewhere. This, the quotes like don't exactly work, but it looks like we're able to get it to start shaping up. Now I need to say, rewrite the ducky script above and remove quotations from the strings. An error has occurred. What? So here's the problem. I've been working with this like iteration of chat GPT, like coaching it and getting mm -hmm. it to go from like a rough duck ducky script to something I want. Now I have to teach this thing all over again. So I restarted it. And from the beginning, I tried again to get this to work. So I said, write a ducky script that, that a security researcher would use to open this video URL on a Mac OS computer. And look at this. It didn't use the quotes. Huh. So this version of chat GPT I was talking Learned. with is a little different yeah. than the last one. And it knew that a ducky script, or at least the version of ducky script mm -hmm. it pulled, doesn't use those quotes. So, okay. But it did basically the same route where it opened Safari. So I was like, okay, use terminal instead 
to launch the window. And it didn't quite understand. It just, it just did this. I think I told it, rewrite the ducky script to press the space bar for four seconds after the video loads and switch back to the terminal to exit it. So what, I, what do I want it to do? I want it to automatically play video, the video, which you can do by pressing the space bar. And I want it to switch back and exit out of my terminal window. So let's see if it wrote something that actually works. I, this is where we're hacking live with chat GPT. We're going to see if it actually... And it actually waited four seconds. That's, that's surprising So too. far, so good. All right, so it's safe. So I'm going to mm -hmm. go over on my usb nugget go to a neutral window here and this is the video we're trying to get to hot sauce and onion test lm a personal favorite so let's go ahead and run it terminal okay it's open it's gonna wait four seconds hopefully will it wow play? it's playing i mean it took a little coaching <laughs> all right you guys can go watch the video yourselves but Let's just say it, it does like So yeah. look at this. It didn't, it tried to exit out, but it's not as mm -hmm. easy as that. I've realized this myself while trying to exit out of a Mac OS terminal and get rid of the evidence. So the AI was able to, with some coaching, mm -hmm. write a ducky script payload that was able to open up a unique video. And it was able also to attempt to go back and close out the window so that the person who whose computer this was mm -hmm. wouldn't see any evidence other than this masterful music video. And you could also count this as, this isn't hacking, this is just a shortcut to culture. Anyway, Anyway, so this was a live demonstration of having chat GPT take the role of a security researcher and write its own ducky script payload. As you saw, it failed miserably at first. However, after a little bit of coaching and actually connecting to a different instance of chat GPT, it was able to actually do what we told it to do and open up a payload that worked. So pretty cool. AI assisted hacking.